Learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Day Hangul. Word number 64. Quenchana. Quenchana. Word or phrase number 64 is quenchana, and this is an informal way of saying it's okay. Meaning, we can use this to address people of the same age as us or the people that are younger than us. The word quenchana could be divided into three syllables. Quen chan a. Quen is formed from the combination of the sounds of kiok, we, and nian. But take note that we is formed from the combination of the sounds of o and e. So it's like oe, which gives up the sound we. The next syllable is chan, and this is formed from the combination of the sounds of chiat, a, nian, and hio. The third syllable is a, and this is just the sound of a itself with a placeholder or no sound ian at the first position of the syllable. Quenchana. And with that, you've just learned Quenchana. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 54 to 63. But don't forget our word or phrase for today, Quenchana, which is an informal way of saying it's okay. Word number 63 is usta. This is a root verb which means to smile or laugh. Word number 62 is masida. This is another root verb which means to drink. Word number 61 is mokta. This is another root verb which means to eat. Word number 60 is Gabshida, and this is a formal way of saying let's go. Word number 59 is Kacha, and this is an informal way of saying let's go. Word number 58 is Ulda, this is another root verb which means to cry. Word number 57 is Hada. This is another root verb which means to do. Word number 56 is Kada. This is another root verb which means to go. Word or phrase number 55 is Moyo. This is an interrogative phrase which means what is it. And the last for our review is word number 54, Irum. And this is the Korean noun for name. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.